I'm High Hill Knight. Welcome to my video series, which explores the triumphant victory of Donald John Trump to the office of President of the United States of America. This video will be a criticism of the anti-Trump rallies and protests. These protests began almost immediately after it was declared Trump to be the projected winner. As someone that was against Trump from his day one, you'd think I'd be out there protesting with those folks, either in spirit or actually in person. No, not me. I have very little sympathy for sore losers. The name of this video is hashtag yes my president. It is a counter response to the hashtag not my president's trend of protesting. Although I was against candidate Donald Trump from his day one, I completely accept his victory. He had every right to run. He ascended the nomination process successfully. He won the general election fair and square. I don't like that he won, but his victory was legitimate. A growing problem with politics is the public has increasingly ignored an important part of any election. Someone has to lose. No matter the topic or candidate, no matter how righteous one side sees above the other, someone has to lose. And that losing side could be yours. It is acceptable to be upset when you lose. It is appropriate to protest when something doesn't go your way. What is not acceptable or appropriate is to denounce the winner because you are mad. This is double true when the victor wins legitimately. If you denounce the winner's legitimate victory, then you aren't just a loser, you're a sore loser. No one likes a sore loser. The outrage over Trump's victory has led some people petitioning the Electoral College to not officially vote Trump into office. I'm sorry, but that is absurd. Such a petition calls for people to not perform their duty just because you're mad. What's worse, if the Electoral College actually failed to vote Trump into office, that would be a slap in the faces of the millions of citizens that elected Trump to office. To the people that drafted and or signed that petition, you are not true Americans. You are not true patriots. The fact that your side lost and makes you mad or afraid or depressed because you think that the winner will suck at his job is not the Electoral College's problem. It's your problem. Stop being sore losers. As troublesome as the anti-Trump response has been, there is another problem to consider. The sad fact is there still would have been protests if Hillary Clinton won the election. Make no mistake, if Trump had been defeated, the civil unrest, violence, property damage, graffiti, and instances of assault would probably be more horrible. After all, Trump and his spokespeople spent months and months claiming that the electoral system is rigged. For months, the Trump campaign told its supporters to watch out for voter fraud at the polling stations. Trump himself, when asked if he would accept the results of the election, said, and I quote, I'll keep you in suspense. The next day, he updated his stance. He would graciously accept the election results. Again, I quote, if I win. Trump promoted the idea that he would either win legitimately or lose because of cheating. To my knowledge, not once had he publicly acknowledged that in a scenario that creates only one winner, that he could become the word that he dreads the most. A loser. When you tell millions of impassioned people that the only way they could lose is because the opponents cheated and they do wind up losing, then you'll be lucky if pitchforks and torches become the only things to worry about. In a sad way, it's good that Trump was victorious, legitimately victorious. Otherwise, instead of civil unrest, we could be in the middle of a new civil war. No mission report necessary. To those of you watching that are part of the hashtag not my president movement, I advise you to focus your energy and effort into productive forms of battling the POTUS 45's approaching administration. 
Denouncing our future president is not helpful. Instead, it's a temper tantrum. When a person throws a temper tantrum, that often makes it harder for the person to get what they desire. People that create effective change know how to work smarter, not harder. To the people that supported POTUS 45 and the man himself, I congratulate you. With zero sarcasm, I firmly state that you defied the odds. You should be proud of yourselves, and you proved millions of people, including myself, very, very wrong. I don't have to like it, but I firmly accept it. Congratulations, Trump is my president. Thank you for watching. I hope you will check out the rest of the video series. Please like and share this video. Please share your comments. Please be respectful in the comments. And remember, find inspiration everywhere.